Hello, I am Sally Glenn of Saved by Grace Ministries. My message this time is Heaven on Earth. Doesn't that sound exciting? I think you will be. A while back, the Lord prompted me to make a sign. It said, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I hung it from the mantle where I saw it often. Now that was a while back, and eventually I took it down for the holidays, or for company, or for some reason. But as I was praying, the Lord prompted me to make a new one saying the very same thing. And I also hung it from my mantle in the den. Jesus wants to bring heaven to earth. He wants his kingdom, not just in heaven, but here on earth as well. Oh, yes, he does. He wants to govern through his people. His people will bring heaven's realities and resources right here. That's what he wants to do through you and through me. Praise God for His glorious and wonderful plan for us. Jesus even instructed His disciples to pray, Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And that is Matthew 6, 10. So, what is the kingdom of God? And what is the kingdom of heaven? Are they the same? Good question. A kingdom is a place of rulership. Luke spoke of the kingdom of God in chapter 17, verse 21, saying, The kingdom of God is within you. Romans 14, 17 says, The kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. So, the kingdom of God can be said to be that place where God rules or governs through his attributes. Matthew has a lot to say about the kingdom of heaven and what it is like in chapter 13. He says it's like a man sowing good seed, a mustard seed, a hidden treasure, a fine pearl, even a net. So, the kingdom of heaven, then, is a place where heaven's realities become actualities. So, Jesus, with his instruction to pray, was, in fact, saying to pray for both. The book of Revelation addresses yet another aspect. It speaks of the millennial reign when Jesus and we, his saints, will actually rule here on earth. Revelation 20. Then in chapter 21, there is the new heaven and new earth. Oh, praise God. Glory to At God. that time, verse 3 says, the dwelling of God 
will be with men and he will live with them. Oh, what a glorious, wonderful plan he has for us. They will be his people and God himself will be with them and be their God. The old order of things will have passed away and it will truly be heaven on earth. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Glory to God. Let's pray. Oh, Lord, may thy kingdom come and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I give myself to you and pray that your kingdom would come within me and that I might give it and spread it to others. Hasten the day, Lord, when you come and rule and reign in your kingdom forever and ever. Amen. Please share and like us on Facebook and subscribe to my YouTube channel.